you imagine if trolleys travel between El Paso and Juarez again? Would you ride them? That's one of the questions the El Paso City Council is asking. ABC 7's Maria Garcia is live with new details. Maria. Hi, Estella and Rick. Crews are already working on the trolley route in El Paso. Remember, the state is paying for all $97 million of construction there. And the city hopes the federal government would pay for a trolley route between El Paso and Juarez, too. A streetcar used to cross the border, but the Mexican government stopped it in the 70s. The city of El Paso is now researching what it would need to renew a partnership with Mexico for a transnational trolley route. But before even approaching Mexico, the city is checking where it could get the money for the trolley, possibly up to $150 million. It's checking on federal grants and a presidential permit. City officials say a trolley route has a 1 to 10 return in economic impact. When you talk about benefits that this could have, you're talking about congestion, you're talking about pollution, of people sitting and idling on the street. And most importantly, you're talking about lost productivity. You're talking about the ability, you're talking about $80 billion a year of trade. You're talking about students crossing the border. You're talking about doctors crossing across the border. You're talking about all different kinds of workers. The city plans to meet with Congressman Beto O'Rourke to see if he can help. Uh, if this were to become a reality uh, into the future, the Mexican government uh, would share the cost of construction. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you why the trolley discussion led to tense words between the mayor and a city rep. At one point, the mayor telling the city rep he'd turn off her microphone if she was disrespectful. Back to you. Oh, okay, looking forward to that. Maria, thank you. Now, our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom with another story developing now. One week to go until we learn if Las Cruces school bus drivers will go on strike. The Las Cruces Public Schools superintendent says they're not putting the children first, but today those drivers took to the streets to say otherwise. Our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom with the story developing now. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! SDS yes, keeps us home! The labor union that represents the bus drivers filed a motion to do away with a restraining order that prevents them from going on strike. It came just one day after a judge sided with LCPS and ruled drivers must keep working. The bus drivers labor union says that restraining order violates the National Labor Relations Act. Las Cruces Public Schools outsources employees to drive students to and from school. The dispute is between the drivers and the company contracted for the job, which is not commenting on the case until after next week's hearing. Construction for the El Paso trolley route is underway, and now the city is looking into a trolley route between El Paso and Juarez. ABC 7's Maria Garcia, live with those details. Maria? Hi, Rick and Estelle. There used to be a trolley between El Paso and Juarez, but that stopped in the 70s when the Mexican government didn't want it anymore. The city is now researching what it would take to bring it back, but the discussion got a little tense today when City Rep. Lily Limon questioned why the city had not yet asked the Mexican government if they were on board. We're going to move on because Thanks. I think uh, you got the headline you were looking for. You know, Mayor, I resent that comment very much. I and understand Mayor, that. I understand for that. For you to say that I say anything for the media to cover, you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong, Mr. Moore. You're very I, I get to watch it every Tuesday night. The mayor later apologized to Representative Limon, saying he wasn't trying to disrespect her, and she accepted it. Before even approaching Mexico, the city has to check where it could get the money for the trolley, according to officials, possibly up to $150 million. It's checking on, a federal, on federal grants and a presidential permit. City officials say a trolley route has a 1 to 10 impact in economic stability. The good wait times that we have. Um, the deterioration of service and the ability to cross the border in a safe and efficient way is a really big fat fail. It's a big fat fail for this community. And by failing to plan for that, by failing to anticipate alternative modes of transportation, of getting people and not just goods across the border safely and efficiently, um, we sort of are in a situation now where we could do more the city plans to meet with Congressman Beto O'Rourke to see if he can help in getting the presidential permit and federal grants. Then, if it identifies funding, the city would approach the Mexican government about sharing construction costs. Back to you. Keep it on things, Maria. Thank you.